Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Hypixel Skyblock, episode 6. And well today, first of all, I wanted to get the hurricane bow. I already have all the bones necessary in this chest right here. As you can see, right there, stack and a half of bones. That's all you need for the hurricane bow. Very excited to get that. I don't know how good it's actually going to be, but I suppose we will find out. And the next thing I wanted to do was just improve my island. Like, it doesn't look that good. There's just a lot of cobblestone boxes. Like, there's this mob grinder here, this one right here, that one over there, then this fall damage one right here. And really, why do I need four mob grinders? I could just use this cobble uh, fall damage one because this is all I'm going to be using I'm not going to be using any of these other ones so I can get rid of those completely I also wanted to change these portals a bit make it a bit well make it look better in general like I wanted to make a designated area for portals I'm thinking I could get rid of this smelting area right here move the furnaces somewhere else and just have a walkway where I can have stairs going up maybe three blocks to a portal. I think that would look pretty cool. And yeah, that's just about it. I guess I have to start removing these mob grinders. This is going to take a little while. Okay, so instead of removing the mob grinders, I decided to craft the hurricane bow before I did that. You know, start off on a positive note. And this is looking pretty sweet. A hundred and 20 damage and plus 50 strength that's really good also as you can see the item ability the more kills you get using the bow the more powerful it becomes reach 250 kills to unlock its full potential so I'm thinking I could set up a grinder to get 250 kills with this like baby just make it so the pigs don't die right away in my pig grinder so I can just sit there and kill them with my bow I don't know if that'll actually count towards the kills, but I mean I can't think of a reason it wouldn't. And I only need 20 mob kills to unlock the double shot, I guess, ability, which is super easy. Like 20 kills you could get just chilling on your island and killing any passive mobs that spawn. So yeah, very excited to have this bow. Now I just want to see if there are any passive mobs around, just to test it out real quick. Does not look like there's any mobs around. So I guess let's start enchanting this thing. So as you can see, I have 79 levels, which as you know, if you play Skyblock, the max enchantment is 64. And I'm hoping for aiming 5, which is just right there. That's nice. I didn't think I was going to get aiming 5 the first time. Very happy about that. Let's accept that. Oh, this is pretty good. Nice. Let me just change my GUI scale real quick. So it's down to... We'll just do 2 so I can actually see all the enchantments I got. Okay, aiming 5, which is really good. It homes to any mobs within 10 blocks. <clears throat> that's really good because basically you <clears throat> excuse me having throat problems basically you never miss any of your shots with aiming five cubism it's just whatever it does more damage to creepers magma cubes and slimes infinite quiver five saves 50 percent of your arrows basically infinity but not as good you can't get infinity in skyblock anymore i don't know if you ever could but you can't right now which kind of sucks. Aiming 5 is the closest thing you can get to that. And telekinesis. Now telekinesis is really easy to get just by going to the villager in the gold mines. You can put telekinesis on any of your tools for only 100 coins. So it's pretty easy to get but it just saved me a trip to the gold mines so I'm not complaining. So already this bow is amazing. All I need now is power. Okay, so it looks like for the power enchantment, I'm going to be needing 80 bones and just a little bit of paper. Very cheap. The only thing is, I don't know how much levels I'm going to need. I might need to go back to the mines, mine some emeralds with lapis armor on, to get plenty of levels to add power 5 to my bow. I'm just hoping it's not going to be in something insane like 100 levels. 
I've just made both Power 5 books, or Power 4 rather, and I want to see how much it costs to combine them together. Okay, only 6 levels. That's not bad. Now I have Power 5, and let's just see how much it costs to add this to our bow. Only 12 levels. That's pretty good. And I am going to be wanting some extra enchantments on this. This is not all I want. So I'm also... I'm just going to put all the enchantments on this one book because it's actually cheaper than just adding a bunch of enchantments to this one bow. So what I basically did was went to my recipes, went to enchantment books, and just went through all of these to see what enchantments I would want. So critical 4 is something that I definitely want on my bow. Can I even get that on my bow? Yeah, it just increases crit chance. And bows have crit chance as well, so I can definitely do that. Uh, life steal, probably not gonna do that. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. That's not too good. Oh, that's what I want. Um, giant slayer. I have no idea how to craft that, so I'm gonna have to look up the recipe for it. But other than that, I think all I need is giant slayer and critical four. Actually, you can get critical 5, can't you? How many diamonds do I have? If I have enough enchantment diamonds, then I can get it. Okay, so that's 10 enchanted diamonds. I believe I needed 9 or 8. So, I think I'll just settle with critical 4. Maybe critical 5 if I can, if I can get enough enchanted diamonds from these. I think I am going to have enough for critical 5. So, I guess we'll just find out. Okay, so I have good news and bad news. The good news is I have plenty of enchanted diamonds to make critical 5. I just need two of these books. And then I am fine. However, the bad news is that Giant Slayer is in the Gas Tier Collection, which Actually, it's only 250 gas tiers, so that's not bad, but I don't have any of the gas tier collection unlocked. I don't even have the gas minion unlocked. I only killed one gas ever. So it's going to be a little bit of a grind to get 250 gas tiers, because I don't have a gas tier minion. But it, I should get it in like an hour of grinding gas. It shouldn't be that bad. Of course, that's without a grinder. That's just me going to the nether, sitting here with my bow, and shooting them. So I guess it's not going to be that bad. Let's see how much it costs to add it, add this critical 5 to my god book. That's what I'm going to be calling this for now. Okay, increase the crit damage by 50%. That's pretty good. Alright. Here we go. How much is it? 12. Can I do that? I cannot. So I'm definitely going to need a lot more levels, but I'm not that bothered by it. With Lapis Armor and Mining Emeralds in the Emerald Mine, you can get 30 levels in like a minute. It's not bad at all. So I guess I'll see you once I get 30 levels. I also need more arrows, so I'm just going to buy a lot of them. Yeah, I'll just fill up my inventory. That should be fine. Okay, so I just got 36 levels from the emerald mines. I didn't actually mine any emeralds. I just sat there and killed a bunch of slimes. I also got quadruple shot on my bow. So as you can see, four arrows. Pretty cool. Uh, I only need a few more kills to get penta shot, which is five. So I do kind of want to see how much it takes to combine these books together. Oh yeah, it was 12. I'm pretty sure, did I? I don't remember if I found that out in the last clip, but let's do it. Okay, so we got a pretty good book. Now all I need is Giant Slayer. I might see how much they go for on the auction. Like, I don't know what they actually cost to make. So what, was it the gas tier collection? Yes. Only eight gas tier, so it should go for like almost nothing on the auction house, which is good. Okay, so this right here is exactly what I'm looking for. Very cheap, as you can see, top bid 661 coins, giant killer 5, 
and there's only three bids. So I'm thinking they're bidding pretty low. I do want to guarantee that I get this. So maybe I just throw a 5,000 coin bid in there. Maybe to scare them away a little bit. But I'd be willing to go up to maybe 20,000 for this. Because I really don't want to grind. Okay. This kid's going to go for it. How much do you think he'll go? Because I will straight up just bid like 20,000 right now. I'll go for 15,000 right now. Because what else do I have better to spend my money on? I'd say I won't go past 50,000, because that's a lot for this book. It's only 250 gas tiers needed to unlock it. I'm just saying, this guy that created this auction is really getting a good deal. It only cost him 8 gas tiers and a little bit of paper, and he's gaining, like, over 20,000 for it. Let's just throw in a 25,000. It doesn't look like this guy's going to give up. So, I don't know. I'm going to say I won't go past this. If he bids again, yeah. I'll let him have it. If he wants it that bad, if he's willing to pay like 30000 for it, he gets it. Okay, so it turns out it's actually a lot more difficult to get gas tiers from just shooting gas in the nether than I thought it was going to be. I only got like 6 gas tiers. I've been there for about 30 minutes. Yeah, that's not a very good rate of getting gas tiers. So I think, for now, I'm just going to focus on cleaning up my islands a bit and making it look better. So I guess the first thing I'm going to do is just clear out that mob spawner, this mob spawner, and that one over there. That one in the sky is going to stay for now because that's the one I am currently using. So yeah, I guess I have a lot of work to do. So I just destroyed the first mob spawner, and it was right over there, if you remember correctly. And it already looks a lot better, and I can see, or at least imagine, what it's going to look like with the portals, if it works out that way. I really hope it does work out well, because, well, if I'm imagining correctly, it's going to look pretty good. Okay, this is the second mob spawner down. And I'm thinking I'm just going to extend the sugarcane farm out to here. So basically, the sugarcane farm is going to take over where that mob spawner used to be. I don't know if that's going to look good. But I really can't think of anything else to do with this area here. There's also a little bit of dirt down here that I still have to fix. So I'm just going to basically fill in this entire area with a bit of dirt. And it should look fine. So I'm just going to leave this area open for ideas until I can think of something. If you have any ideas of what to do with this little area here, let me know down in the comments below. Now I just have to deal with this one right here, which actually has lava in it, which is uh, going to be a little annoying to get rid of, but should be fine. Also I have haste 3, so it makes it really easy to just these things. Oh, look at this. I'm just destroying all of this. So yeah, see you when I'm done with this. Okay, so the third and final mob spawner is completely destroyed. And it's we have a nice little area over here. And I'm thinking actually instead of destroying right here and making that the portal area, I'm thinking of just building the bridge out from here. Because I mean this area doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's better than a cobblestone box. So I'm thinking we can keep that for now. Plus it has furnaces in it. I use them sometimes. So yeah, I'm thinking about building the bridge right here. Also, this cactus farm is going to have to go. Because it looks pretty ugly. And really, it doesn't do anything. It made this many cactuses in about... I don't know, this thing's been up for like maybe four days. It's not very effective. It only has nine cactuses in it. So... It's not very surprising. It's been useful, but it has to go. Now that I think about it, I could make a really huge cactus farm. I'm thinking maybe up here, 
like right in this area here. Just a really tall, pretty wide one. It's fully automatic, just like this one. And yeah, I can get some cactuses to sell. I don't know how much they sell for, but I'm pretty sure it's not a low amount. Plus, if it's automatic, I can just go AFK and they'll create a bunch of money for me. So yeah, quite nice. <clears throat> okay, so I'm thinking for the bridge with portals, I'm just gonna call it maybe the portal bridge, that sounds fine. So for the portal bridge, I'm thinking maybe netherrack and sandstone. Or maybe stone brick and sandstone, I think that'll look better. Yeah, stone brick and sandstone for the portal bridge will be quite nice, I believe. So probably... Stone bricks in the middle here, and also my flight soup just went out. Kind of annoying. I'm gonna have to make more. But I'm thinking stone brick in the middle with maybe a block of sandstone on each side with uh, stone brick stairs on the outside, maybe? Still not sure. I guess I'll just have to do some testing with this. And we'll see how it goes. The only thing is, I don't have any sandstone. And I really don't know how to get sandstone. I'm pretty sure the builder sells it. But I think it's a little expensive. I shouldn't need that much. And I already have a little bit of stone bricks. I would like a little more though. So I'm going to put this cobblestone in the furnaces for now. 
and yeah, I'm just hoping this uh, sandstone isn't going to cost too much. Also, I did end up losing the bid on the Giant Slayer book. I'm pretty sure I got, uh, that was caught in the last clip, but yeah, I decided to bid an extra 30000 on it, and they still outbidded me, so I'm guessing they were just some guy with like 3 million coins in their purse that was just going to keep bidding forever, so that wasn't fun, but, you know, just happens. At this point, I'm just talking for no reason. I don't know why I'm still recording this clip. I'm just gonna end it now. All right, so I'm at the builder to buy sandstone, and sandstone is kind of pricey—384 coins per stack. So it's not gonna make me go broke, but it's not an amount that I would like to pay. But I'm still going to because I need sandstone pretty badly. Okay, so I've been experimenting with some pathway designs. And I came up with a design that I quite like. It's so basically sandstone in the middle with sea lanterns with staircases on both sides. Stone brick staircases on the outer edges. And whenever there's a portal, it's just going to be three regular blocks like this. And also, there will be like a little platform for the portal. Like right here will be stone brick staircases. And it would go up, I'd say, two blocks. So let's just do that now. So we'll go up. It would go up two blocks just like that. And then right up here would be a platform where the portal sits on. So I think this will look quite good actually with the staircases on it. That's why I chose this design. And for now, I think I'm going to stick with it. Actually, just before I do choose the design, I think I'm going to move the hub portal on this platform just to see how it looks. Because I want to see it with a portal actually on there. Okay, so I have a portal to the hub right here in my hand. And I want to just place it down to see how it looks. Okay, it's looking kind of tall, not going to lie. I'm thinking maybe if I expand the platform out a little bit, just like, uh, this is why I need some flight soup. But basically, what I was going to do, why do my staircases get messed up? I don't know. But if I just kind of place some stone bricks here, make the platform a little larger, this could be okay. Because it doesn't look that bad, because all the portals are going to be that high, so it's just going to look normal. But one thing I might want to change is that it only goes one one block up with the staircase. Not too sure about that at the moment, but there's always this glitch with the staircases. Like the staircases are never placed properly, they always disappear. And it's really annoying, I hate it. It does it with slabs and stuff like that as well. Then you have to go back and replace them. It basically, it's just a scam. Alright, there we go. Oh, now I'm glitched out. Uh oh. Can I grappling hook out? Yes, I fixed myself. Alright. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm still trying to decide if I like it or not. I think it's quite good. Keep in mind, I could also edit the portal frames. Like, I can break any of the blocks on the outside here, and it'll be just fine. Like, I can place and break any blocks around that portal. So maybe I'm thinking if I just remove from that cobblestone block an up, just to make it a little shorter. But then I'd have to do with all the portals. So I'm just going to see what it looks like with every portal in here. Then I'll make up my mind. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye, everyone.